New details tonight in the case of a special education department chair at Santa Fe Middle School accused of fatally shooting his wife as she was on the phone with 911 for help. We want to thank you for joining us tonight at 10 o'clock. I'm Keith Garvin. Daniela is off. Well, tonight, James Paul Anderson of Kingwood, he appeared in court for the very first time. KPRC2 reporter Devin Clark joins us live outside the Harris County Jail with the details and also advice for others who may be abused. Devin. Keith, that suspect did not appear to say much as he appeared in probable cause court today, but therapists say that history of violence that officials mentioned is a loud and clear sign of imminent danger. This is 37 year old James Paul Anderson staff picture where he was employed as the special education department chair at Santa Fe Middle School. This case involves a um, allegation that this um, defendant uh, murdered his wife. This is his mug shot. Yesterday, officials say he shot and killed his wife while their young son was in their home on Vista Ridge in Kingwood. The child was able to get out and is said to be OK, but Anderson refusing to surrender for five hours led to a SWAT standoff. He was eventually taken into custody without further incident. Clearly just another case of senseless tragedy. Now a child doesn't have parents. Officials say the couple had a history of violence. Trauma therapist Chow Wen sounding the alarm on what seems to be a growing problem. We do know a few things about domestic violence murders. They have quadrupled in Harris County in the last four years, according to some reports. Uh, two thirds of all domestic violence murders are committed with the use of a gun. Reasons why she wants to remind anyone suffering or who knows someone suffering domestic abuse about the unsettling statistics. When there's a history of domestic violence and there's a gun in a home, you're more likely to have that gun used against you. In the Anderson's case, officials say there was a divorce pending. Wen says leaving is the most dangerous time in a relationship, so it's important to have a safety plan that can be created by professionals. What kinds of bags you're going to pack, what's going to be in the bag, when you're going to leave, if there's a gun in the house, what, who you're going to talk to, what the code word might be. We have more information on that on our website, click2houston.com. As for Anderson, Cleveland ISD released a statement saying that he has been placed on administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation. We know that his bond was set at $300,000 and he's due back in court tomorrow. We're live outside of the Harris County Jail tonight. Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News. All right, Devin, thank you.